Good morning everyone, this is uh, Rick from Ozark Living Homestead. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Again, I've been just very busy. Um, you know, winter's coming on and I've got to get enough of that house done to where I can actually live in it. Um, so I've been pretty busy and then plus I've been to a few auctions, uh, farm auctions. They have had it quite a bit lately. Actually, they have a lot of them around this area. Um, you know, and so anyway, I went to one because there were a few things I was interested in. And the reason I'm showing you this jacuzzi tub is kind of a funny story behind it. I was talking to someone uh, I met when I first moved up here, and uh, he was there. He had actually taken a half day off work just to come and come to this auction. Uh, it was a local auction. But anyway, this um, jacuzzi tub was sitting up under um, a shed, an open shed, and... Uh, it was all dirty and, and messy and we were kind of joking around and, and as a joke I bid a buck on it uh, nobody would bid on it and it's brand new it does have just a couple little places that you know some minor 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 damage and found out actually that this tub was brand or is brand new or was brand new it was installed in a house and it got damaged while it was in there, so they had to take it out and put a new one in. The guy that owned the, the house, they were actually, they actually sold the house, uh, 40 acres, the house, actually the 40 acres, the house, and there was two ponds on this property, uh, and, and it was a homestead in place. It was a young guy, uh, ex-military guy, um, but um, they had everything. They had goats, they had chickens, they had rabbits, they had bees. Uh, they pretty much did everything. They had the gardens, and he told. And I was talking to him. He said they pretty much raised everything they needed right there. Um, you know, of course they chopped their own firewood, uh, and it was a nice little house. But um, he was moving up north, farther up north. Um, and he had a wife and uh, three kids, and he just felt it was a lot cheaper to sell off everything um, than to try to haul any of the furniture up or anything. So pretty much sold everything I mean the kids bicycles and I mean he's everything all his guns everything but anyway he was telling me this story about this tub him and his father-in-law and his, he had planned on putting it in his house but it's just been sitting up under that open shed all this time <laughs> he, he said that's why it's so dirty he said honestly this thing works and it works good he said it's brand new and I look, kind of looked it over and as a joke to, to my friend um, they opened the bid. I think they opened and started the bid at a hundred dollars, and nobody would bid on it. And then he started it at fifty, and he went down. And he went down. He said, "All right, one dollar. Who will give me one dollar?" And uh, so my friend, was, as a joke, you know, I said, "Up oh, as a buck, I'm gonna get me a tub." And uh, so I bid a buck on it, and I, honestly, I did not expect to get it for a buck, but. Um, then he tried to get two bucks and nobody would bid two bucks. He turned around and he said, sold one buck. So actually, I got a jacuzzi tub um, for one dollar. And as you can see, I think you can see on these little cards here, it was one dollar. Is that one right? I apologize for that. I paid one buck for this tub. It's a jacuzzi tub. And it honestly works. I was very curious. I figured, you know, if if I lost anything, I lost a buck. And I can use it as a, a water. I plug up the holes and you know, put it in there for the goats or a feed trough. Or I figure something out to use it for, for a buck. But I've got it plugged in. I'm going to show you guys. It actually works. And my wife, honestly, has been wanting a jacuzzi tub for a long time. And I told her I was going to get her a jacuzzi tub. So I actually come out good on this deal. Uh, she, she got a jacuzzi tub, and I, I come out good for one buck. And like I said, it, it's the only little scratch is it's right here. And that was the reason they had to take this tub back out of this house and put a new one in. Because that right there happened. They had it installed and everything, and somehow that happened. And um, that's how I ended up with a jacuzzi tub. And it actually worked. All the jets are working good. Uh, the water's filthy because apparently you got a lot of them. 
dust in the water lines and stuff so I need to really clean this thing out and go through it and I get it all cleaned up but another thing I bought and I don't have it all out here because I got a lot of it already put up in storage was this tiller this rear time tiller uh, I've been looking at them for quite a while they're in this area they're running 350 450 700 dollars depending you know the age of them and the shape of them and everything um, but I got this one, it's got a flat tire on the other side, and, uh, it's a tubeless tire, but I'm going to put a tube in it. And it's a Troy built, I can't remember the size of the engine, but I'm going to show you what I paid for this thing. Um, let's see, where is it? But uh, I think I got a pretty good deal on this, and in fact everybody thinks I did too, but um, I paid 180 for this. For the tiller and they fired it up it run good they even you know the guy was there he's very nice um he was a younger guy late 20s um but he was explaining anything that was wrong with any any of this stuff or anything uh he would give you an idea how to, what was wrong with it or what he thought was wrong with it but this one he told me the only problem he ever had was the tire would go flat because they're tubeless if they sat too long they would lose the seal but I'm just going to put a tube on it in both the tires if I have to. Well, one for sure, but the other one too. But a lot, like I said, a lot of this stuff is um, put up in uh, storage right now. And this is one of the things. Uh, the back tub. I want to show you guys. Not that one. This one here. This one. I bet on this one. It's, it's a metal shelf with contents it was an old beat up rusty metal shelf which I, which I didn't want there was one thing on this shelf that I wanted and it was the uh, tool to put the bands on uh, goats or, or cattle or whatever to castrate them the baby cows or the baby goats or whatever to castrate them uh, and that's what I was basically bidding on the shelf when it had a lot of other things on there and something I didn't see is when when I did I actually ended up getting the bid for 16 bucks. I actually won it for 16 bucks, and they have some boxes of different different things on there. But one of the other things that I found on there that I didn't see was a milk um, goat milker, one of the battery operated that you just put it on the two teats and turn it on and milk them. And I asked him about it, and he said, yeah, it works great. We use it all the time. They actually had, um, oh gosh, I can't even remember now what kind of goats he had. Uh, hmm. Anyway, they were milk goats. They had like seven or eight of them, I think they were. And then they had a bunch of kits and stuff. So, But anyway, I was glad to get that. But I got that for $16. And I don't know exactly what the... Um, uh, milker goes for um, but I'm sure it goes for more than 16 so I think I come out okay plus I got the the little tool um, to, to put the bands on then I got the bands and then actually I there was a box of um, other stuff on there that was uh, different dewormers for goats and um, um, different medicines for goats and then there was dewormers for chickens and there was a lot of different stuff like that and, and that was just a lot of different stuff for the goats and the he actually had a couple of hogs and um but anyway i i won all the contents on that shelf and i was very surprised when i found that goat milker because some guy walked up to me and he says what is that thing <laughs> and i knew what it was only because i'd seen it on youtube and i thought well this thing's gonna be great because neither one of us me or my wife know how to really milk a goat uh, when she gets moved up here we're going to uh, get some goats Bill goats and because she wants to make goat cheese and stuff but um i was surprised that that it was in there and i actually wanted to bid for 16 bucks i think i come out pretty good on that but you know there's quite a bit of other things there there was another auction i went to this one was yesterday that i went to um, but there was one on saturday that i went to only because i wanted this health hay, hay spike uh, it's a three-point attachment. It hooks to the. It's upside down ones now, but it hooks to the back of the tractor, and you back into a big round bales, and you pick it up, and you can move it around from different places. And I needed that because I want to get big round bales of hay, because it's actually cheaper 
Uh, it's easy to store because I can store it outside because uh, I don't have a barn to keep my square belts in. Um, and you just throw a tarp over it and they'll save and you just pull off what hay you need. I mean, come on, I only got four goats, so it's not like I need a ton of hay, but you know, I can also use this hay for bedding for the chickens and, and stuff like that. Also, I bought a rabbit, I forgot, at the auction yesterday. I paid, I think, seventeen fifty. Uh, I think it was a Californian, uh, and there was a doe. Um, I actually was doing something else and come up on the end of that part of the auction. Uh, they had already sold them all, and she was the last doe um, that was left. And he, I think he had five, and he had one buck. Um, but anyway, I bought that rabbit, and now i got to find a buck. But anyway, the Saturday is when I got this hay spike. And uh, they go for around 125 around here. I actually got this one for 60. I've been looking quite a while for for one, but it's it's one of those tools that you're not going to use every day, and you very rarely will ever use it. So I didn't want to spend 125, 150, 175. You know, I think they go for around 200 new or so, or a little more depending on brand. So I've been waiting around, waiting around, checking options and, and different things. Finally, run across this one and got this one. Um, for 60 bucks so I actually come out really good on this one because this is again it's one of the things I'll very rarely ever use you know in the winter time I might use it three times four times each winter you know so again 60 bucks I was happy with that and of course my tractor is still not put back together um, and I kind of knew it I, I knew it would take longer than the guy said because it that's business. I've been in business for myself almost all my life. I mean, I've never done things like, I mean, I've told people I'll have, you know, it should be ready in a week when I know it's only, it's going to be a week and a half, maybe two weeks at the most, you know, because you're busy. You know, you don't want to turn business away. And that's the way it happens, unfortunately. And people do do that. Um, but it's going on three weeks now. It's three weeks now. He hasn't even started it. Actually called me up and said, he hasn't even touched it yet. So I am basically figured I'm going to give him another week. If he haven't at least taken it apart, done something to it, uh, I'm just going to go pick it up and take it somewhere else and get it done. And, you know, everybody told me this guy was one of the best, but, you know, and it's very possible that he is. And that's probably why he's slow, because he's got so much work he can't keep up. But again, you know, I need to get my tractor back running. Now I got footers I need to... Um, dig for the rest of the house up there and get it ready so uh, and actually we've actually done a little more work on the house in fact i'm headed into town now i've got to unload this tub and i'm gonna get some um more lumber a few pieces of lumber that we needed and uh, that way i can go ahead and finish the roof part of it and get it all dried in and that way i can go ahead and get the insulation put in it and uh, get it ready to kind of move in for the winter um, but anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off of here and get this tub unloaded so I can get into town I just want to let you guys know what was going on a little update on, on what was going on and let you know I'm still here and Still ticking away here. So All right guys, you guys have a nice day and uh, see you later